Today, the German 10th Panzer Division will be assaulting the Aleppo International Airport. This is a combat mission Shock Force 2 scenario called All Flights Are Delayed from the NATO module. The forces in my disposal are one company of Panzer Grenadiers with Martyr IFVs. I've also got one to two platoons of Panzers, which are Leopard 2s. The briefing is a bit vague whether I have one or two platoons. In indirect fire support, the Germans have one Juke, which is a battery of Panzer Haubitze 2000s, a very potent system. And one Juke, which is a platoon of 120 mm mortars. In air support we've got two tornadoes. They had a prominent role in Operation Desert Storm and in that they suppressed the enemy airfields. Kind of what they are doing in this scenario too. And finally one platoon of pioneers which are combat engineers, they'll be useful in demining and blowing holes during CQP. The Red 4 is a Syrian mechanized force, they are dug in and expecting an assault. The briefing also mentions that they have AA assets that they are a threat to my ground forces. I suspect they are Silkas. I played this scenario before in combat mission Shock Force 1 back in 2014. So we can pretend that the German ISR is top notch. The mission objectives are Occupy the terminal, 500 points. Occupy the secondary structures surrounding the terminal, 150 points. Preserve the air control tower for future operations, 50 points. Keep friendly casualties below 20% of the force, 150 points. Total score, 850 points. And here we have the tactical map with the overview of the forces and reinforcements. There are some compounds along the way with a significant city-like terminal infrastructure. The advance guard is already on the field and reinforcements will be arriving in 5 to 10 minutes. So let's take a closer look at the map. We've got some early intel also. Looks like the enemy is already held up in this compound that's closest to my force. We've got a nice highway berm here for hull down cover. I plan on placing the Leopards in a tank carousel here so they'll be switching positions, going up, firing, then switching positions again. I see three avenues of advance from the left, from the center and from the right. Let's take a closer look. In any plan the first objective is to take 
this compound and use it for future maneuvers. Or rather use it to support future maneuvers and observe the enemy. On the left we've got some wet marsh here, not ideal for armored vehicles. So I'll have to come around this way. This compound might be a problem. This is a choke point. I'm contemplating on using artillery on this structure and level it. There are some nice berms here that can be used for cover. But that goes for the defending force also, so I've got to be careful. Here we've got what looks like a warehouse area. These buildings need to be cleared. And my plan is to move from here and use this area as a fire base for the final assault. In the center we've got some ground undulations that can be used for cover. But the main road looks like a choke point also. It's probably mined, at least the last time I played it was mined, so the German intelligence that does not recommend using this road. And I agree, there's a possibility of RPG fire Enfilading fire from both sides. So this road can be used as a sort of great way to provide direct fire support for the final assault to the terminal. And on the right we've got two compounds. At least one of them has some enemy presence. The plan would be to use some artillery to soften up both of these compounds and then push forward using each of them as a base of fire. But I've only got 161 men so the Germans have got to be wise to where they want to engage can't go from every place. The terminal itself is quite huge also, and so it will take a lot of resources to take it. The terminal itself looks very open, so probably not as hellish as it may seem. Control tower is a preserve objective, but I'm betting it's used for forward observing by the enemy artillery. And here's the German advance guard, one platoon of Panzer Grenadiers and their martyrs, three infantry squads, an HQ squad, and a sniper team. With them are their forward observers in a G Mercedes. Mortars and howitzers are here. 
and the two tornadoes. We've got a lot of early intel, so we might as well use it to our advantage. This is a roof position and might be an ATGM, so I'm putting some fire. I'm not sure if they are on the roof or I'm saying they are second, second floor so I'm using general rounds. They've got a good look at the road so I'm using the second Panzer Habits. I kind of implied in the beginning that I'll be using the left route, so I'll try to clear clear this building now. The goal here is to suppress the enemy or perhaps even dislodge them. There are the initial bombards. I won't be using the air support yet since there are AA assets among the enemy forces. Up next is this compound. I'll be going in fast. I'm dropping the Panzer Grenadiers from this team. No, since I don't know if the enemy is going to use their own artillery, they'll be safer inside the mortar. Pop some smoke for cover, and then the infantry will move to the gate. some extra ammo right away.
the game plan is that uh, 3 and 2 IFE will rush the compound the rest of the martyrs will do a pop-up attack try to support maybe engage in target of opportunity I might just well have them pop up again during the turn initial plan is set. If your interest is aroused, come along for the next episode. Thank you very much.